Ooh, I've just seen Keir Starmer's getting excited. They've won a by-election by the skin of their teeth. Somebody give him a sugar cube in a quiet corner to sit down in, please. How do everybody? Welcome back to the channel for a Friday. And I uh, hope you're all doing all right. The weekend is ever closer. Well, it's very interesting up there, isn't it, where that by-election took place. Keir Starmer's getting excited, waving his hands in the air like this and saying this is just the beginning for Labour. I used to get nervous when the lefties won any seat, but I'm not too bothered this time. Have a look at his pretty little face. Bless his little cottons. Doesn't he look so pleased he gets to keep his job for another week, even though somebody like... Uh, his deputies lining up to attempt to stab him in the back at a moment's notice. Dear, oh dear. The fact of the matter is, there's nothing really to worry about. It's just another example of the fact that politics in this country is completely screwed. And you're no better off with one anymore than you are with the other. They're all Etonian educated Cambridge University tosspots who have got no idea how the real world works and never had a decent job in their life. That's the fact of it. And there was such a tiny, you know, percentage difference between the Conservatives and Labour in this instance. You couldn't fit a fact paper in between the two. And even George Galloway had a decent look in. Look at these results. Barely a percentage point between them. And old George Galloway was clicking at their heels. Crazy, isn't it? Barely a percent. Is it a case of better the devil you know than the devil you don't? With the Tories in danger of nicking it. We're so pissed off as a nation over the last 15 months. We've had it up to here with the whole thing. And you get Mr Starmer over the other... Oh, sorry, I should say Sir Starmer, shouldn't I, really? Yeah, right, whatever. Sitting over the other side of the dispatch box, agreeing with everything that Boris says and showing no opposition whatsoever. It's like we've got a united government where no one actually tries to oppose anything. So would it have made much of a difference? Two got in, blue or red? I really don't know and I really don't care. But I think Keir Starmer's excitement is a little bit short-lived. And I hope when a general election comes along, if it ever does, it will be a real telling affair. Because we're all waking up to this, aren't we? The political system in this country is screwed. Has been for years. And unfortunately, you know, when you get into proportional representation and first past the post and all other types of voting systems there are, it always seems to be weighted in favour of those two big main parties purely because of weight of numbers. And that does need to change. I hope beyond hopes that something does one day. But uh, Batley and Spen, I think it's definitely a case of better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Anyway, I'm going to Gatwick now. I'll record a bit of footage up there so you can see what's going on. And I'll uh, bid you adieu till later. And the next one, I'll be in my car. Toodaloo!